Container shipping is one of the largest stakeholders of seaborne trade. It contributes to carrying 52% of the world's cargo. MSC is the largest shipping company in the container ship business, having a total carrying capacity of over 4,284,728 TEUs. World's largest container ship ever a lot can carry up to 24,000 containers. It is bigger than the Empire State Building and is equivalent to about 4.5 football fields. This huge ship encounters rough seas, bad weathers and storms when it sails out to sea with containers. So why don't these stacked containers ever fall? Let's find out. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any video from Marine Insight. There are six degrees of motion at sea that a ship may encounter. However, pitching, heaving and rolling are three major forces that impact containers on a ship. Lateral rolling motion factors the greatest challenge for piles of containers. If containers are to be carried safely on the deck of a container vessel, they must be tightly connected to the ship. This is done through a series of lashing systems. Container lashing is a process of securing containers together on board of a ship. With increasing sizes of ships and container capacities, there are over 14 rows of containers stacked over 8 tier high, equivalent to a 7-story building. These tagged containers are connected through a series of lashing system, which comprises of following main tools, twist lock, twist stacker, long and short lashing rods, and turn buckles. So what is container lashing and how is it done? When containers are loaded on ship, they are secured to the ship's structure and the containers placed below them using lashing rods, turn buckles, twist locks, etc. This prevents the containers from moving and falling off board. Containers are loaded on the deck and under the deck of a ship at the port of loading. When the containers are loaded below the deck, there are usually cell guides which are long vertical structures running from top to bottom that prevent the containers from moving at sea. Each container has four corner castings where twist stacker or twist locks are fitted and used to stack them with another containers. When a container is loaded under deck, it is fitted with twist stackers that fit in all four corner casting shoes of the container and then is loaded under deck. This locks one container to another and prevents it from moving at sea. Once all the containers are loaded under deck, a hatch cover is placed over them. A hatch cover is a movable weathertight structure placed over a cargo hold to prevent any water ingress into the hold. Once the hatch covers are placed over the cargo hold, containers can be loaded on deck on top of these hatch covers. Each container is tagged above one another and logged to each other with the help of twist locks. A twist lock is a special double pin that secures stacked containers. The pins are conic in shape and snugly fit the oval openings in the corner post of a container. By turning the pin 90 degrees, it is secured. By securing the two pins in two containers stacked alongside or on top of each other, the containers are connected. The deck crew must ensure that the twist locks are seated properly and are locked so that the containers do not fall out. Even if one twist lock is not seated properly, the whole container stack can topple over and is at risk. Once all the containers are loaded, they are lashed to the lashing bridge of the ship with the help of lashing rods and turn buckles. A lashing bridge is a long steel structure of the ship installed between hatches to permit the lashing of containers to it. The bridges can be up to 2 to 3 tiers high. Low tier containers are lashed with the help of short rods, while the high tier containers are lashed with the help of long rods. These rods are connected to the lashing bridge with the help of turn buckles that tighten these rods and keep the container in place. A series of lashing systems like this is implemented to ensure the containers are kept intact in place and do not move at sea. 
As containers are loaded in port, it is lashed by port stevedores. They are usually responsible for lashing and delashing containers in the port. However, the deck crew and officers are equally responsible for ensuring that all lashing are done correctly. The container lashing is regularly checked by the ship's crew at sea and is significantly tightened before heavy weather arrives to avoid any type of accidents. The loading plan is usually given to the ship before arrival, so one must ensure enough lashing equipment is available to lash all containers. So this is how 20 million containers make their way across the mighty ocean at any given time. This does not mean that they do not fall at all. If there is human error or the ship encounters extreme rough weather, containers may fall overboard and be lost at sea. In 2021 alone, total number of 3133 containers were lost overboard. Let us know in the comments which type of cargo you have handled on a ship. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any video from Marine Insight.